Welcome back everybody to Octopath Traveler in a quaint village in the mountains. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer, and this is Oberic, our new friend, or well, I should say, our new soon-to-be friend. Those brigands? What villains would take a defenseless child as a hostage? Hold fast, Philip. I'm coming for you. His name is Oberic, and he is a warrior. Here in Cobbleston, a remote village in the Highlands, he hires out his sword under the assumed name of Berg. Once a great knight, he lost both land and liege, as well as his reason for wielding a sword. Yet one fateful day, bandits raid the village he now calls home, stealing off with his protege, the young Philip. Olberic takes sword in hand and sets off after the brigands. He will need worthy allies on the path he has chosen. Take Olberic along? <laughs> of course I will! Let us hear the beginning of his tale. Oh, okay. Eight years ago. Wow, okay, they weren't kidding. This is really the beginning of his tale, huh? Eight years in the past. Health. Is he man or beast? Neither. I'm a video game protagonist. I'm even scarier, dude. He's but one. It fights like a score. God have mercy. That's the unbending blade of Hornberg! Olberic Eisenberg! Hornberg? Now wait a minute, we've heard that name before. You know my name. And so to business. Who will be the next to die? Oh shit, this dude means business. Now, you could have played him in the, um, in the original demo of the game that came out last year. I never did. I chose to play as Prim, and I could have gone back and played as Olberic instead, but I never, I never got around to it. So this is all new to me. <laughs> it's you who be dying. Look about you. We have the numbers. Enemy reinforcements on the left flag. Uh oh. To Sir Ulrich's side, men. The blackguards have had their way for long enough. Charge! Uh, it matters not. We're done here. Sound the retreat. Withdraw to the rallying point. Nice charge, guys. You, you, you're doing a great charge. You just, just, you just standing there, standing there, looking dopey. Sir Ulbrich, I feared we would be too late. Nothing I couldn't handle. Can you hold this position? You make for His Majesty's camp, sir. Just so. Our foe attacked from both flanks. We have no orders from the Crown. This concerns me. His Majesty is well guarded, sir. Sir Earhart is with you. I know this. There is no stronger knight in the realm, other than yourself, of course, my lord. With Sir Earhart at his side, surely His Majesty is in no danger. Perhaps not, but we must be certain. I would know how the battle unfolds. Besides, word from the King always lifts the men's spirits. You know, morale and all that. Morale is good. As you wish, sir. We will hold this ground. Be safe, and may the gods guide your blade. And yours, Sir Ulbrich. May the sacred flame guide you- Oh wait, no, wrong character. Alright, well, go. Go, dude, go. Heavens have mercy. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. These are all our dudes, aren't they? His Majesty's own guard. Slain to the last man. Who could have done such a thing? Erhart. Where is Erhart? Oh no. So, it was you. Who the hell is this? Oh. You know, I should have seen that coming. My leash. Earhart, what is the meaning of this? Oh. Okay. That that happened with, what, no evil villain monologue? J you j no, you just went straight for the jugular. Okay. Fair enough. What? What have you 
done. Hey, at least he's efficient about it. Oh shit, ah. dude. Have you not eyes? The king is dead by my hand. What madness? What treachery is this? The worst kind of treachery. Treachery no from your friend. Call it treachery. Brothers indeed. How many times did we cross swords like this in the practice yards? And how many times have I told you? I see your every move, your every strike before it falls. As I see yours. Ah, but you've not seen everything. I saved one trick for the day I knew would come. Crap, man. Oh, boy. So that's what happened eight years ago, huh? Always the same dream. So that's how we ended up in this village. Well, I mean, not how he ended up in this village, but <laughs> you know what I mean. It was a precursor. Ah, Philip. What is it? Crivens, how did you know it was me, sir? Hey there, Philip. One must always be on his guard, even when he rests. Yes, a knight. Hmm. No, I am no knight. Just a man with a sword, and nothing more. Aw, oh, dude. I mean, I guess he just feels ashamed. That he let his king die like that. If you say so, sir. But there's lots of men what carry swords that can't do half of what you do. Oh, I almost forgot, sir. The headman's looking for you. Says he wants a word. He didn't say about what. Tell him I'm on my way. Yes, sir. I'll go on ahead and let him know, sir. He'll be in the square. You know the one. All right, we'll do. We'll go meet him. Eventually. How many years has it been since Hornberg fell? My liege lost. My land in ruin. I wandered aimlessly. After a time, I came to this village. Here, I earn my keep as a hired sword, hiding behind another man's name, defending the villagers from bandit raids, teaching young men how to handle a blade. Not a glamorous life, but it puts food on my plate. A man like me knows only the battlefield, worth only as much as the blade at my side, and the arm that swings it. When that blade fails to save my sworn liege, what does that make me? For years, I've asked myself that question. No answer still. At least, not one I like. Dude, one I know that I feeling. Know is that I owe this village a debt. A debt I intend to repay. But, that's enough brooding for one morning. The headman's waiting. Alright, let's go meet the headman. It'll be interesting to see how your journey really started here. Morning! Uh, Berg, sir! How there? Dawn patrol, sir. Nothing to report. I see. Good to hear it. Mm -hmm. Two of you today? Usually only one man does the rounds. Yes. Aye, sir. Headman thought it best. There's brigands in the hills of late. <clears throat> Poor merchant got it for his coin purse just yesterday. It was a grisly sight, sir. Indeed. These are dangerous times. One can never be too careful. I hear the headman is looking for me. Just so. Ah, he, he mentioned that, sir. He should still be over in the square. Now, if you'll excuse us, sir. Morning patrol, resume rounds. Hey, well, the headman's over in the square. Let's go, uh, let's go meet him.
Let's go meet him. So, Alberic was a member of the Kingdom of Hornburg. We, I think it was, it was with Cyrus? It was either with Cyrus or Tressa. I don't remember, but we heard something about the Kingdom of Hornburg back then as well. They were uh, an old kingdom that died out. I guess, I guess this is, the, the, it's more recent history than I thought. I thought they were talking about like an ancient kingdom or something like that. Oh. Ah, Berg, there you are. <laughs> Good morning to you, sir. I see. Morning to you both. Philip said you wanted to speak to me. Ah. Uh, yes, yes. I'll get straight to the point. We've had reports of bandits in the hills. I see. I see you've doubled the patrols. Oh, I uh, yes, I was also hoping to ask for your aid. With bandits lurking, the villagers daren't venture into the hills. We cannot check the traps, nor collect firewood. It's quite the predicament, to say the least. Mm. Leave it to me. Where can I find these thieves? As for the precise location of their den, I fear I cannot say. I sent some of the men out searching, but... Berg, sir. In the meantime, could you put the militia through their drills? Our men are keen, but they don't know a pommel from a pike, if you get my meaning. As you wish. Consider it done. Beg pardon? Uh, sir, if it would not be a burden, might my Philip join in the training? <laughs> if he is willing, so am I. <laughs> oh, he's more than willing, sir. I assure you. Been pestering me for weeks to ask you. <laughs> That's a brave lad. The boy has pluck and ambition. And he could be find a worse man to look up to than Berg here. Oh. Ever since my husband died. In the war, you know. Mm. It's just the boy's getting to that age when he needs a father. <sighs> oh no, I did not mean to say... Your boy is already a credit to the village. It would be my honor to train him. You are too kind, sir. It's settled then. Train the lad well, and we see that he does his mother proud. I see. I will. All right, we have our task. Let's go train up the kids. Utilize each character's action or unique action. You have challenge to a duel. Oh, right. I remember hearing something about that. Challenge to two watchmen. Sure thing. I will challenge you. Challenge this person to a duel. A battle. Fair and square. Two arms. Let us fight with honor. I mean, I can do this. No, it's fine with me. Well, what do we got here? Is warrior skills. Level slash. Attack all foes with the sword. Abide. Increase the user's physical attack strength for three turns. Interesting. Okay. And that's about it. Ah, look at this. Oberic has spears just like Tressa, but has a sword. Yeah, they don't they don't like swords. That's for sure. They don't like spears either. I guess I guess that makes sense. Humans are pretty squishy. <laughs> After all. Oh jeez. I I have murdered my training partner. I am so sorry. He's dead now. Now we need to find another able-bodied young man. Oh god. Okay, he's talking. He's on the ground. You attack with boldness, but you leave yourself open. And so a simple counter blow quickly strikes you down. You must remember, balance in all things. I see. Balance. Right. I'll try to remember that, sir. <laughs> oh, he's done. Oh my god, stars. He's seeing stars. Failed again. I ain't learning much, am I? No. No, clearly you're not. Can I fight you? No, I can't fight you. Can I fight you? Challenge the village headman to duel. <laughs> I didn't ask you to put me through the motions. Why the hell not? I'll fight everybody! You pick a fight, and you pick a fight! 
Everybody picks a fight with Oberic. Or Berg, I should say. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be too much fun. I'm gonna just freaking challenge all the people I shouldn't hate. Oh god, that's funny. That's just funny. Ow. Nope. Not today. <laughs> I killed the village elder! Woo! <laughs> oh, it's hilarious! Oh, God. <laughs> you have my thanks. <laughs> this is what you get for asking me to help, old man. Just gonna tell you that right now. You! You, sir! You pick a fight with old Beric! I challenge you to a du- Never mind. I don't challenge you to a duel. I changed my mind. You! I challenge you to a duel! Two arms! <laughs> oh, God. Shut up, I didn't run from that guy. You have no proof. I'll kill you with my spear! I'll kill you with my pokey stick! That's right. Fear the pokey stick. Fear the stick of pokes. You will not like it. It will poke you. One thousand years of death! Oh, you put up a guard, huh? I ain't gonna help you for long. Uh, guess what, buddy? My pokey stick of doom has poked you to oblivion. <laughs> oh my god, why is this so funny? This is amazing. <laughs> no good, sir. We're no match for the likes of you. Not even the village elder. You're too hesitant. It's important to protect yourself. This is true. But you will never win in a fight if you lack the courage to strike. Oh, I bet he never would have attacked me. If you say so, sir. That said, if you fought side by side, you might complement each other well. Indeed. I was just thinking of that myself, sir. Just so. Better than the sum of our parts, eh, sir? <laughs> what do you say, friend? Fight side by side? Two heads are better than one, eh? <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense things. to me. Something the matter, sir? What? No, sorry. It's a fine idea. Train together and you will be capable soldiers one day. Yes. Sir! I thank Two you. Two of us will go on patrol, then, by your leave. Alright, have you? fun. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> me next, please! Oh god, I'm gonna beat up on the small child? <laughs> Dude, I don't know how I feel about this. No. You are not ready yet. You need to work on your form. Hey, come Aww. <laughs> mm. Do the drills as I showed you, and you'll be sparring soon enough. You have talent, kid. I do? I see. Not many boys your age take to the sword so quickly. And I've trained my share. <laughs> Crivens, thank you, sir. Um, my father, uh... he's... You know, gone, sir. Died in the war. So I've heard. Mother's looked after me ever since. All on her own, sir. But soon, soon I'll be a man grown. And it'll be my turn to take care of her. <laughs> She's a lucky woman to have a son so brave. Hey, thanks. So you see why I've got to get stronger, sir. I have to protect Mother and everyone in the village. After all she's done for me, I owe her that much. I too once had someone to protect. Sir? It's nothing, lad. Just old memories. Keep at your training, and you'll be a strong man before long. You've got it! As you've got it, small child with a cockney accent. Mayhap I should make a round of the village. Well, sure, why not? You, madam, fight me! Fight me? I need to be level 15 or higher. Wow, she's a tough broad! Oh my god, feeling thirsty? This here's the tavern. Yeah, best mead, I see. I can't fight anybody in here. Jesus! I guess I should not fight that woman. She's, uh, she's, she's angry. Oh boy. Uh oh. Brigands! Oh no, brigands! Berg, sir! Brigands from the hills! Uh-oh. 
Find the brigands attacking the village. I shall. Can I fight you first? I might give this a try. He's got a strength of four. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Does that mean he's going to be too strong? It means he's just strong enough. Am I, I going to be able to fight him? Because I mean, there's a level restriction on the other woman, so I would assume that means it starts off like level, level freaking fifteen. I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, forget it. We'll just we'll just keep going as we're going. Brigands in the hills. Brigands in the hills. There's the brigands. Ah. These dirty peasants don't know their place. We outnumber them. Surround them. Stick a blade in their backs for the boss finds out Swineard slowed us down. That's uh, do you worst, you brutes. That's right. You'll not be getting past us. Damn it. Damn it, all these Swineards know how to fight. Look, sir. I swear. Workmen, I did well to hold them off. And I'll take over from here. And who in the hell are you supposed to be? He's a bleeding fool if he thinks he can take all of us. Mm. Oh, so he's got a fancy blade, eh? I know your sort, Edge Knight. I've got done my share of your betters. I'm telling ye, this one's trouble. Ooh, they know Indeed. I'm trouble, huh? Although the right of it, I'm about a common Hedge Knight with no name to speak of. But if you've gone looking, if you come looking for trouble, you've found it. <laughs> Stow it or I'll cut out your tongue! Aye. Enough prattle, let's skewer him! Oh boy! He's a pirate attack! He's, he's a brigand attack! Joy. Let's use level slash! Out of my way. Ha ha! You don't like the swords! Ow! Um, let's attack... I don't know who to attack here first. We can break you, though. You know what? I'm gonna break you. Break you over my knee. <laughs> we'll worry about those two guys in the back later. Ow. Ow. The battle is truly Oh, there he goes. Stay strong, Ulberic. You got this. Double slash him again. Now, I could have done... Um, what is the move? The ability I have. The thing to boost my attack? Abide. I could have done that. But I chose not to for whatever reason. I don't know why. I just thought of that right now. <laughs> I could have used that move. Probably would have been helpful. Ooh, he actually lived through that, huh? There we go, now he's done. Level three for me. Sweet. Items obtained. You! Ye can handle a blade, aye? But this ain't the end of it. That's right. When the boss hears about this, you're a dead man, ye hear? We'll see about that, won't we? Oh shit. Help, my boy! Oh no! Hey, come on. Let me go, you ugly son of a bitch! Let me finish that thought for you. Oh, there he goes. No time to worry about him, though. Looks like Philip's being abducted. Being, I meant, was. Crap. Oh, Berg, sir. They they took him from me. My poor Philip. He was trying to protect me, but those... Those animals. Oh, damn it all. Uh, forgive me, sir. There were so many of them, and... It doesn't matter now. We have to save the lad. Let me see. We know where they are now. Hold up in a cave deep in the mountains. Indeed. Then let's go. Gods only know what they'll do to him. Wait. What? But sir, we have to do something. They might kill the boy. No. If you leave now, who will protect the village when the thieves return? No. You will be playing right into their hands. Oh, oh. God's a mercy. Is there nothing we can do, sir? I see. I'll go after the boy. 
Alone? But, sir, even you! Mm. You stay and guard the village. At least until you're sure they're not coming back. Ah. Oh. Chief? Mm. Forgive me. You, the boys, are only hope. Can you do this, Berg? As you wish. Consider it done. Oh, Please, sir, heavens. bring him back safe. I swear you have on my, my word. Blade. And thus, that's how we wound up in this situation, I guess. And so I must go and save the boy from those ruffians. What's you? Th what's that you say? You wish to lend me a raid? Hmm. You seem like you could hold your own on the battlefield. It will be my honor to call you a comrade. Philip has been taken to the brigands' den north of the village. We must make haste. I mean, sure. Alberic has joined the party. There we go. Let's outfit you, dude. <laughs> With the stores right here. Oh boy, oh boy. We can give you a greatsword, which seems amazing right now. I mean, look at that. We go from plus 22 to plus 18. To plus 65, only plus 4 though. His speed does not go up nearly as much with the greatsword as opposed to the iron sword. But you know what? I don't think he needs to be fast. I think he just needs to to hit hard and you know, just, he just needs to hit like a truck, okay? That is that is his job. Hitting like a truck. We can get him a war spear. Um, in fact, that is inf exactly what we'll do. Right, he actually has two weapons he can equip, while Cyrus and Ophelia only have one. I have to remember that. Um, otherwise, we don't have much money left. Bronze armor. Bronze helm. I guess we'll go with the armor. We'll equip this to him. Boom! Alright, he, he just needs some defense here. Now, looking at... Oi. Look, looking, looking at his armor choices, everybody else has something that increases their atta elemental attack, physical defense, and elemental defense. Um, except Tressa, who has physical defense, elemental defense, and speed. Alberic only gets more physical defense with this armor, so it's kind of already not as good as the other pieces of, of equipment we have, but... I, I suppose it's 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 a worth it enough sacrifice to make. So we could challenge people. Hey, buddy. Want a duel? Mr. Baramon, I would greatly appreciate a duel. We got time. A child's life hangs in the balance, but we've got time. Oh, we only fight with him still. Interesting. Okay. Well, we could do that. How about you? Out of my way. That's right. Punch me with your fists. See how well that ends for you. Wow, my normal physical attacks just murdered your face. Alright then. Good to know. At least I can, like, fight anybody I want to. You have my thanks. We'll fail again. I ain't learning much, am I? I can't do anything to this guy now, though. Oops. Um, note to self. Fighting people doesn't end well. Ooh. What's this? Healing grape. Oh, here's the thing. A war la Are you kidding me? A war la I just bought- Fuck you, game. God damn it. <laughs> the, the village headman still out cold. Philip's mother. Can we beat up on Philip's mother? Oh my god, this is so- No, I can't do this to her just yet. I gotta scrutinize her first. We did it! A woman of humble birth who came to Cobbleston to marry her beloved. Though he perished in battle shortly after his son Philip's birth, she continues to hold her husband's memory in her heart as she looks after his final, most precious gift to her. No other information gleaned, but it's nice to know. Not for sale. The silver clock. Do we? Do we fight? We're fighting Philip's mother! I should learn how to swing a sword. <laughs> it's a good day for battle. Tis a good day for beating on women, apparently. Oh no! What is wrong with this picture? What is wrong with this picture? Oh no! Uh, oh god! Women like swords! That much is for sure! Oh god! Oh god, I'm so sorry! Oh god, I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh no! 
no! I'm I am a horrible human being. I am an awful human being. I Oh Oh dear. Alright, next time on Let's Play <laughs> Next time on Let's Play I'm the Fat <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ! Jesus, Jesus Christ! <laughs> we'll be taking Ulbrich and going to rescue the son of the woman we just beat the crap out of. Oh no! Game, what were you thinking giving me this much power? I will abuse it to high hell. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. Thanks all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ. See you guys then. Oh. Oh, I need to see a priest after that one.